Shining Pearl Let's Play. How you doing, guys? So, in the episode that went up this morning, yes, I'm popping two of these out today. We had gotten here to Jubilife, took on the first rival fight, and now I know how to unlock Mystery Gift. I had to do it. I did a little quick research, because that's going to be pivotal. Because you're going to see my poke. The Pokemon Center looking kind of clean, though. As you'll see in a little bit, I have some uh, pre-order things I want to go over. But we can't unlock the mystery gift until after the first batch. So, we need to make haste to Route 204. Catch them on up here. Is that item still over there? Yes, it is. So, I want to get a few more levels up. Catch a few things. Because we do have a rock type gym leader to start. So, if I could get a. S I mean, I wouldn't mind a Badoo here. Because, you know, I've never really used Roserade on a team. And that would be interesting. But. It's either that or level up until I become Monferno. And I don't want to over level if I can help it. So. I love the uh, icons for the moves now, though. Ooh, we got the burn off. Let's go. Starting with Chimchar is definitely, at least for the first gym, put us at a slight disadvantage. Alright. And I know in Ravaged Path, which is just up the way here. I'm not mistaken, Psydux can spawn there. So we're gonna head there and acquire ourselves Intimidate Shinx. Yeah, and I had to get the one with Rivalry. Either way, not a big deal. Ugh. Vile thing off my screen. Cause I know Padu can be buddy you can usually be caught on Route 204. Ooh, item. Antidote. I'm gonna need that later. Oh hello, Zubit! You know what? I'll throw a ball at the Zubit. I am not against that. Still, the confusion birds look like really badly colored on fucking Twitter logos. Just the shape of them, not the actual, like, graphic itself. Alright, we've caught Zubit. Ooh, we must have a decent special attack IV. We're gonna name him... Daedra. I don't know why, but Daedra felt fitting for a crow guy. All right. Let's give it one more encounter. Then we'll scooch on here, because we, we got stuff to do. Because again, we still have Route 207 that I know can get Machops there, so. I 
I just want to see if we can get a Psyduck. Because that would be preferred. Because if we can hit Rourke's Pokemon on the special side. Alright, I'm moving on. Moving on. Alright, travel in. What are we encountering? Or Badoo. Again, I've never used Badoo in a playthrough. Or Roserade in a playthrough for that matter, but we'll give him a shot. We'll put him on the team. Perfume. With a fun E accent because we can. Perfume. <laughs> anyway, let's keep her moving. While we're here, I want. Yeah, I'm not gonna put. Perfume, perfume A at the front of the party yet. Because we are on Route 203. I recall Abras can be caught here. I don't know why it zoned in on me, but. Quick attack, okay. Oh, boom. Recoup the Pokeball that Zubat broke out of. I tried to juke that guy, but that didn't work out. And it's like the people I skip over here, I'll come back on the on the backswing headed towards uh, Eternal Forest for that later. And by the time you're seeing, if you're seeing watching this live when it comes out. I am still live on Twitch right now, playing Brilliant Diamond for our game o for our participation of the Game Over Epilepsy event. Ooh, Daedra learned Astonish. Let's go. Ah, I was gonna go around her, but that didn't work out so well. Great. More bee dudes I have to deal with. It's like I swear this abomination just can't leave me alone. Alright. We'll switch over to Tasha. Seems to be the most logical switch here. Alright. All right. Man, the Starly. Hit the bricks, Junior. There's the Badoo. Back to Coos. Actually, no. Let's give Celeste some screen time. Granted, she doesn't have a flying move, but at least give her some screen time. Okay. 
So going into Cusco with the Ember would have been a one shot, but two quick attacks will get it done. Liddy. Celeste is at level 9 now. There's Wing Attack. Alright. Ooh, what do we got here? Alright, another Starling. Okay. Let's keep her moving. I guess I can battle you, bro. But just know you about to catch these hands, dog. <laughs> oh, he's got a little chop chop. Alright, All right, just go. Let's get him. Let's give him the fire. The fire from Gusco. He's not a lump, but it's a monkey. Gusco. <laughs> We'll make sure to give Cusco some spinach pops. Okay. Perfume's catching up. Do we at least have a grass move on her yet? Cause I'd love to have a grass type move on her. Oh, what's up fam? TM98, which is Rock Smash. A hidden move zap. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, what do we run into? That's the Geo Dude. Hello, Geo Dude. Dude, dude. <laughs> you know what? Let's give per. Oh, okay. It's got absorb. We're good. This would be a time I'd love to have a big room. Alright, give me your health, dog. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Gain that XP perfume. Can't do anything up there yet. Ah, you can still skip these guys, but I'm not going to skip them. This is going to be valuable EXP for Perfume. Or not, because Grass is resisted by Electric. Although, yeah, never mind. Cusco's still leading the party. I never switched it to uh, have Perfume lead. Jinx looks like, so like, what, what the hell is his name? He looks like a really aggressive Simba when he attacks. How could I forget the main character of the Lion King's name? But you know, with age comes a bit of a doofus, so. Alright, there's a Badoo. Yeah. Badoo's done. Oh, you're 
using a Psyduck. I shall use Tasha. Oh, you can have a Psyduck, but not me. Lame. To be fair, though, to be fair, it would be getting replaced. Zap! Get up out! To be fair, I could have used Badoo there as well. Would have been a better idea, but, you know, we're here now. Bum, 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 bum. I'm at the gym now. Oh, there's a bunt cake. Now, let me heal. We're gonna have Badoo lead the party while we go through the Orberg Mine. I'm not sure I like the sound of the balls being placed in the healer. <sighs> no. No, Nurse Joy. I don't need you to... Do you give me stuff? Are you on the spot weather? Route 212 and it raining. I'm used to that house having an alternative purpose, but then again, that's because I've played a lot of Renegade Platinum. I may bring back to the channel at some point. I mean, challenge me to battles, dude. Because y'all probably have rock types that I need to beat up. That's a Zubit. Gets ready to train a Badoo against rock types. First encounters a Zubit. shock off. I mean, I could realistically just run from this and kind of move on with my life, but, you know, get get some quick quick XP in. Oh, we popped the Thunder Shock. Let's go. And we paralyzed him. Let's get the tackle finish. There we are. leveled up. Let's go. You want to fight? Hey, you. Want to fight? He wants to fight. I'll have you know, gal, I'm in very good spirits today. BDSP's out, the Patriots won last night in a dominant fashion. And I get to record this for y'all. So it's like, you know, win-win, friends. Win-win. And later, and I'm currently, when you're watching this video, when it goes live, currently streaming to raise money for the Epilepsy Foundation, so, you know, good times and good vibes all the way around, friends. I mean, it was a crew. How dare you faint my Starly? That's it. You're hitting set on fire. Now go get him, Cusco. Use your Ember attack. Cusco. 
I don't do a good Kronk impression. I don't think, anyway. So, boys. Boys, let's go. Goose go. Except for that part. That part I can do somewhat decently, but... Hold on, good sir! Power up punch off ramp? You didn't tell me it's my birthday! It's not my birthday, but that's not the point! I didn't think we were getting power up punch. Let's go! Ooh, an item. See, I don't feel as troubled by using by using uh, Chimchar in the gym now. Get out of here, Zubit. I'm trying to fight rock types right now. Worker Colin. Oh, there you go. There's the Geodude. Geodude. Say hello to my Badoo. Oh, and we have Stun Spores, so that's good. Now, I forget what Worry Seed does. Not gonna lie, Zubit's a little slow on the level up, man. Oh, I will stay in. Onyx has horrible special defense. Because here's the strat that I'm thinking going in, about to go into the gym. We use Badoo against Geodude and Onyx. That is pending. Rourke has the same team. I'm pretty sure he does, though. Is that Kranidos I plan on using Chimchar for? Because I'm sure. I believe Chimchar outspeeds Kranidos, so. Let's keep her moving. No, no, no. Get around the rocks, me. Come on. Took one of the last encounters in this particular area to get a rock type encounter and show up. Dirty. Okay. See, that makes sense. I was like, why didn't it want the app? Yep, sturdy. <laughs> I'll take my health back while you faint. I think we're in good position for the gym now. Let's go. Trying to get our first gym badge of BDSP. Now, get in here. So, if we really wanted we could skip the two junior trainers. I'm not gonna do that. I want the extra XP. Because as we know, Badoo is a friendship evolution. So I wanna get the extra winning battles friendship boost. Oh, 
Okay, not enough to get to Sturdy. I am loving the design of the gym battle, though. Like, oh, this is looking nice. Right. Move it up. All right, Darius. Do you have a brother named Dante? And do you like to do lucha things? If you got that joke, let me know in the comments section. <laughs> Okay, this Geodude did not have Sturdy. Ooh, that's a crit. Let's go. And we're back to full. You know, oddly, I'm feeling very confident in Badoo. To where I might just stay in with Badoo on the Kranidos. Even if just to try to get Stun Spore off. Like... We're strategizing out here, chat. Is it humiliating, or do you just suck? All right. First gym battle. Let's go. Throwback to the ret old school as well. And there. Rourke sends out his Geodude. Oh, they made. Hold on. Just appreciate that gym thing. They made it sound way more epic. Like... Oh. Oh, he sets up rocks. Alright, alright. Ooh, that... And then... I, uh... Three of my four Pokemon are... Three of my five, I'm sorry. Three of my five are weak to rock. Ugh. Got you, dude. Back down. Sir, if you could stop healing, please. Just accept your de thank you. Accept your defeat, good sir. All right, Tasha and Gusco leveled up. Oh, you are definitely learning bite. Get out of here, tackle. Plus, you got a little bit of coverage with the dark move. Excellent. Alright, he switches into the Onyx. Onyx outspeeds me! Okay, alright. I wasn't expecting Onyx to outspeed here, but... It's a speed tie. Okay. We know that for if we lose, which we probably won't. But if we lose, we now know that. Daedra is a level 10. Ooh, Daedra got mean look. Nice. I'm going to stay in. Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, hold on. That ball exit was cool. Okay, so about a third? It's a speed tie again. Oh, it has bulldoze. Oh, brutal. OK, 
Okay. So now... Yes. The three remaining... The two of my three remaining Pokemon are all going to take some pretty hefty damage to the Stealth Rock. We gotta go to Cusco here. Because it makes the most sense. We get out sped. The only thing Zubat has on it is that it could probably outspeed. You take damage from the stealth rock. We know that. Oh god. We are literally getting rocked by the Kranidos. <laughs> Ow. All right. Attempt number two. <laughs> so. Granados, we know, speed ties at the current level with Badu. He also has Bulldoze. So, we have to contend with Bulldoze. But now at 13, Geodude's a one-shot. Alright. It was a speed tie against Onyx too, but we should outspeed now, and we do one. That had to be a low roll. Because low roll's the only way he survives that. But what's important here now is that we're back to Kranidos without Stealth Rock being set up. But we know it has Headbutt, Leer, and Bulldoze. More than likely, it has Stealth Rock. Because that is the TM for this gym, usually, in the previous Diamond and Pearl. Ooh, that... Not coming out of the ball animation clean though I didn't look to see what Padu's ability was see there's Bulldoze it crit me last time and it does 20 Bulldoze lowers speed Okay. Alright, so we can't now. Now, this time we don't have Stealth Rock to worry about. So we can. He lived on one! I would have needed. A supersonic turn one. Now, Cusco probably gets one shot off of Bulldoze. He went for Leer. Interesting. A wing attack on Celeste is our best bet right now. As we're a flying type, he can't hit me with bulldoze. There's the headbutt. We got smacked. Alright. Now, my hope is. Yes, he did not use Bulldoze, which is important here. 
There's the power up punch. There's the dub. Ooh, I didn't think I need two attempts to beat Rourke, but. You know, I, I'll take it. And Cusco's evolving. Let's go. First evolution of BDSP. And we have Monferno now. Let's go. That power-up punch just became stab. <laughs> No wonder why I picked him. He uses aerial attacks. Alright, mock punch. We'll, we'll we'll get rid of scratch. You know, I'll take the attack boost with power up punch. And then mock punch for KOs and priority. Our first official badge! There's the Stealth Rock. Oh, you get the stickers for his, uh... Pokeballs. Alright, let me go get the squad healed. And we're gonna make our way back to Jubilife. Because now... We can unlock mystery gifts. All right, moving on. All right, bunt cakes like nope. I got things to do today. But. Wild Bidoof helped out with Rock Smash. Oh, you only have to see him do the animation once. That's kind of cool. Check out the under part of uh, Orberg Gate at a later time. Because we are mad dashing to the TV station. Bro! Move! Or is it the Poke Edge Company? All I know is there's a, a dude I have to talk to. Nice. I don't care about poke at Japs. Oh, we have the memo pad now. That's nice. Do we have to... 
it's like I got the first badge. Do we have to get the... I have to do the Team Galactic part? Alright, I don't think Perfume's gonna be good here, so we're gonna swap over to Cusco. Zubit and Wurmple. And Dawn and Turtwig and Chin Monferno, I should say. Hey, Wurmple. I don't apologize. Alright, he's going to astonish me. That was a crit. I mean, to be fair, it is Zubat, but... <laughs> All right. The galactic nerds are down. What's up, Chica? What's up, baby? Hey, baby! Hey, baby! Ah! Ooh, box link? And ball capsules. go into the TV yes there we go all right so we're gonna go over the process of unlocking mystery gift for you guys today and I think that is how we're gonna wrap the episode as well three fire stickers fire stickers a ball capsules play sticker Any of that works? Hey, lady. Don't care. Moving on. Everyone happy Wi-Fi connection. There we go. go and now there it is mystery gift we're gonna get by internet as I think this is going on till like sometime in February but we're gonna get ourselves a nice little gift there it is searching for gifts got some pre-order bonuses oh that came in hot and I will be put off screen I will be putting in codes to get 12 quick balls and 100 poke balls so
Now this is literally a gift just in case I want to rock the gear that was in platinum. But that's what's important about that. Platinum style. All right, and there we are. And as you see, right here in the party, we have ourselves a Manaphy egg. Oh, it's close to hatching already. Cool. And I'm going to... Give me just one second here, friends. All right, I was running to get a few steps on the Manaphy egg, and I ran into an Abra, so I'm going to catch it. <laughs> Alright, we caught Abra. Lit. We're gonna name him Stan. I don't know why, but Stan seemed like a good idea. Um... Actually, nah, let's send Stan to the box. But yeah, like, what I was doing is I was trying to get Manaphy hatched for you, so. Give me one moment. Alright, we got it to where it'll hatch soon, so. What we're gonna do from here, I am gonna at least get us to just outside Flora Romatown. Or in it. Because there is two fun little things we can get once we get to Floroma Town. Ravage Path. Get on in here, Bidoof! I have to rely on a Bidoof for the Pokatch thing. Lame. Way. Look away. Ooh, what do we encounter here? Ugh! This this vile thing again. Right. But more importantly, we are gonna. We're here in Flora Roman Town. We're gonna talk to these lovely folks quick. Whole ass Jirachi. We're gonna name him Millennia. Millennia is going to go to party. But we have to make a drastic decision on who's not going to come with us long term. And for me, that'll be Daedra. I always use... And Jirachi starts at level 5. Okay. Adamant nature. Okay. Up attack, lower special attack. I mean, he's base 100 across the board, but... And if we talk to this lady here... We get Mew! And I always have one name for my Muse, and it is Finn Balor. Let's check Finn's summary. He's at level one. Quiet nature, so up special attack, lower speed. He has pound and reflect type. 
I will not be using the Mew, though, because we used Mew in our initial Let's Go play. But now, let's heal up here. This is the last thing I want to do in this episode before we go do all the stuff here in Flora Roma Town is hatch that egg. Hello, Manaphy. All right, there we are. So we have our three mythicals. You're gonna be named Flubber. We will be using the Manaphy, by the way. We will be using Manaphy. And Flubber is at level one. Let's check the summary. Oh, neutral natured. I'm fine with that. It's base 100 and everything, so. Tail. You sure it ain't my birthday? 